There we go. First table fish in the box. Beautiful pinky snapper. Welcome back to Land Rupert Fishing. In this episode, we're back out on the water chasing Western Port's finest table fish. Absolutely beautiful. Have a look at that thing. There's a monster. There we go. Beautiful fat calamari on the silver whiting. There we go. Another species for today. Australian salmon. Beautiful King George, beautiful queen. Oh, squid! <laughs> Look, the squid jig's going off. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and I've just whacked two King George in a row. Up top. What's that? Oh. Right, eh? There she is. This is gummy number two for the day. Alright, <laughs> 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 turn around and send him. Not really. <laughs> on this trip, we never really targeted one specific species. We just headed out in the boat, packed some bait and some rods. We were hoping for whiting, Maybe a pinky snapper, some flathead and some calamari, but it didn't really matter. We were just out for a bit of fun. These are what you've seen before, maybe. First fish of the session, slimy mackerel. Keep him for bait. Beautiful. It's a good pinky. There we go. First table fish in the box. Beautiful pinky snapper. Yeah, 
mid 30s, mid to high 30s probably. He's not a bad fish. Swallowed the hook down completely. Beautiful. He'll go on the on the five pound. Get a look at it. He didn't get off. That leader was pretty stuffed. The first spot was a bit of a bust. We fished there for about an hour and a half for the one nice pinky and a few slimy mackerel and undersized flathead. So it was time for a move. We head under the bridge and try to get closer to the ocean to maybe find some cleaner water or active fish. Spot two was off to a flyer. Ash hooks up as we're setting everything up still. Surely that's a joke. Grass whitey. Are you alright? No, you're alright. Beautiful. Not the desired species, the first one. But the second hookup was much, much better. going to swing around and it'll be absolutely perfect. Beautiful. We were struggling with a bit of wind against tide here and we missed a lot more fish than we hooked. But here we go, Ash has got one to stick. Number two, not as big, probably early 30s. Here we go, possibly the first squid. 
Here's a squid. Might get tanked on this rod. This calamari must have just been holding onto the silver whiting. Once the squid has let go of the silver whiting, it is quite often the case where if you leave the silver whiting where it is, the squid will come back. And this is exactly what happened here. There we go. Beautiful fat calamari on the silver whiting. There we go. Lovely squid, first one. That. All starting to happen. Beautiful squid. George number three, slow it up a bit, get in the mixed bag, leather jackets, wrasse, the odd one of these, missing a few too. The jacket. Really small this guy, I'll let him back. There we go. We added three nice whiting and one nice calamari to the box, but unfortunately this spot slowed down and the leather jackets moved in in force, so it was time for another move. On the way over to the third spot, we spot a school of salmon and I just can't help myself, I had to cast at them. 
for you. Sorry. At spot number three, we firstly get some baits out for some whiting and the burly cage down, but I decide I'd jig that little metal lure up and down off the sand, hoping that a flathead might eat it. Let's just say I was very surprised with the results. legal not by much is about 30 centimeters or so sand flathead Same one. 
still just trickling in. There we go, another flatty. Just bopping a little lure up and down. Got another fish going on here. We're racking up a few different species today. That is a little red mullet or goat fish on the metal lure. That's a mad looking fish. So far, within the first 10 minutes of this spot, the metal lure has caught all the fish and three species. Here we go again, the next drop, the metal lure hooks up again. Flatty so far. Not sure what Ash has got. Well, had. <laughs> oh. Whoa! <laughs> what kind of a slimy is this? Slimy on Roy. Fish or? Oh, Port Jackson. This could be a good ladder thing. Another slimy. Loads of these out here at the moment. Here, a little calamari had grabbed hold of Vash's oh, chunga yeah. slimy mackerel we had, aimed at a flatty. Oh, he drops it back down again, and the squid quickly finds it again. I've cut off the metal lure and I whack a squid jig on, hoping that the squid will see the squid jig and come over and grab it. Had one hold one of the baits. Drop the jig. There's another one down there, we think, so. 
Try and get him. What have you got there? Thinking that was a giveaway. I was like, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Attacker. I think I've seen another one, so it might be might be a bit of a trifecta here. Three, three in a row. Got a bit more like a lighting bite. Um, oh yeah. It's not the same bite. This is slime. It's definitely better than slime. Like a little baby. I don't think that's the same fish. Look at me bite. Oh yeah, he's easy. Look at me bite sitting over there. Yeah, I think that. Massive bait I put out because we've got some flatties hanging around. Some good flatties. Decent size King George. Supposed to show that I'll eat a big bait. It's probably not even 40 to be honest. There we go. Beautiful King George. Beautiful queen. Oh, squid! <laughs> Look! The squid jig's gone off. A little calamari, it's going to probably go in the fry pan. Absolutely beautiful. Slack tide. We've just sat here for an hour and a bit, probably just burling, picking up flatties. 
and a bit of other, few other species. And I've just whacked two King George in a row on that same big squid strip. <laughs> The wilding or marketing. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. What, look, is he moving? Another squid. <laughs> is, he, is he moving? Nah, he just wants a couch. Oh, he's getting a couch? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Alright, and yeah, we need you to um, come to our place on a weekend and. Um, Dig out the cattle yard, the poo in the cattle yard. Yeah, no worries. Yep, we can do that. Yeah, not too far down the track. We want it out before it gets mushy. Yeah. With the two nice King George and two calamari in a row, it goes a little quiet for a while. This huge leather jacket provided a little bit of entertainment in the lull in the fishing. <laughs> That's a giant leathery. Well, there you go. There we go. Beautiful big leather jacket. Be careful of the spine on these guys. These ones actually eat up pretty good, but we don't need him. Look at that. This is actually a six spine leather jacket on the tail here. We've got six spines each side. We had another one called a horseshoe leather jacket, We've got a horseshoe shape on the side. They look very similar. Big spike, big chomping teeth. Let him go. Another squid. Here, go. Squid again. <laughs> Another little squid. There we go. Pretty awesome. I don't think we need this guy, do we really? Uh, I'll put him back. Unless we go for kings tonight. <laughs> we might put him back. The chances are he'll eat the jig again. Alright, mate. Off you go. What an awesome little session that was on the bay. The fishing was a little bit tough. No species were in really big numbers. But we did manage to find the nice feed of fish. We get back to a very high tide at the ramp and a very quiet one. There wasn't much activity here at all. Here we are. Here's yesterday afternoon's little food collect. We ended up with five beautiful whiting, two crackers. That top one's 47 centimetres. Beautiful fish. A couple in the early 40s, one high 30s. 38 centimetre pinky. Five nice flatties. Beautiful sand flathead. And then those five calamari. So uh, we got four of these, plus another one we actually chucked back. All uh, within about 15 minutes of each other, and the bigger one over there. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you in the next video.